And in here, I'll be showing you how to properly taste Guinness, so no matter where you go in the world, you'll be able to not imagine yourself. What's your name? Bird King. Bird King? Well, you're from around here? Seven miles south of here. He, this is a real tasting expert. I guarantee it. He's just from up the road. Say, so taste the okay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. I'd like you to take it in the classic bridge style of this room. This room has been designed to emulate the characters and flavors that are in your glasses. The glasses we are using are the exact same that each of our quality tasting experts use to quality test every batch of Guinness before it leaves the brewery. And to fully appreciate the flavors and attributes that go into Guinness, we need to use three parts of our tongue. The front, the middle, and the back. At the front, there should be a sweetness in the malt. In the middle, a rich rose in the barley. and the back, a bitter sweetness from the hops. On top of all this, there should be what's called a mouth feel. A mouth feel is a smooth, velvety texture. Do you want to take up your glasses? Maybe we shall handle. And repeat after me. Just take a big deep breath in. Once you pull through the head. Where's yours? Oh, I don't drink it. What? <laughs> don't drink it. What? Sorry about that. Come on. Uh, I want you to pull through the head onto your tongue. My advisor is here to tell me about it. You're first anyway. I want you to swallow. I want you to exhale. Exhale. Swallow first, then exhale. Now, to we see this, you know, we'll see if we get some of those flavors and attributes I just talked about. So the beginning of the should be a sweetness from the malt. Did anyone get that? Followed by a rich roast to the barley. And it's in for the coffee. On top of that, there should be a bit of sweetness from the hops. On top of all this, I'm sure y'all got that smooth velvety texture, yeah? It's down to the unique addition of nitrogen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we keep enjoying Guinness and enjoying all these flavors and attributes together. And as you enjoy Guinness, I'd like to take a look at the room around, because this room has been designed to emulate the time of Arctic Guinness. Everything here from the wood floors to the brass fittings to the wall fixtures is from the time of Arctic Guinness. And behind you, there is a replica of the only known portrait taken of Arthur Guinness. If it wasn't for this portrait, we wouldn't actually know what he looked like. He was born in 1725 in a place outside Dublin called Kildare. He inherited 100 pounds from his godfather, set up his own brewery in 1756, and in 1759, three years later, made the mental decision to move to Dublin, St. James' Gate, and get his support. He married a lady called Olivia Whitmore. Together, they had 21 children. You need to get a big response from that. 21 children, come on. 20, it's more than 21 children. She was, she was uh, pregnant for a total of 16 years of her life. There you go. Uh, 10 children survived to Adam Post. Of the 10 children, their son inherited the brewery. Can anyone guess his name? Arthur. Arthur Guinness II. Inherited the brewery. And he passed down to his son, Benjamin Lee. And Benjamin Lee had it and stayed in the family for six generations. Mm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are all our Guinness tasting experts. You know how to taste it, you know where it's come from, you know all about it. Now, let me get your attention up here for one more time. Over here we have a bell. This is the bell, a ship called the Envy Grand Guinness. Very, very big ship. It was a liquid bowl carrier, first of its kind. Sailed between Dublin and Liverpool, transporting Guinness. And this bell was rung at the end of each journey to signify the homecoming of the ship and the end of its journey. And I'm going to ring it now to signify the end of our journey together. In fact, that you are now Guinness Tasting Experts. Can you have a big cheer up, everyone? Woo! You didn't make up your last right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you leave, you just leave, leave your glasses to your wife, you have to collect it. Just another thing, on the fourth floor, you can use your coupon to craft your own pints, or you can go to the floor seven, whatever remarks, and we'll craft the perfect pint for you in this complete loop to you. My name is Tom, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.